Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Wheel of Horror. This is going to be a little special episode for Friday since finals is now over, so I figured we'd have uh, two Wheel of Horrors this week. So we've added two movies to the list, and they are The Hills Have Eyes and Midsommar. So, let's see what we're going to get. And it is going to be Suburban Sasquatch. So, thank you, Evan, for suggesting the movie, and let's get to the review. All right, here we go. Can we set up? Look in here. Boom. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one out of ten. <laughs> Suburban Sasquatch was released in 2004 and was directed by Dave Waskavage. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce his name but I don't care. And it is about a Sasquatch that is terrorizing a town in Pennsylvania and a reporter and a Native American warrior must be the ones to defeat him. So this movie was recommended by Evan, which thank you Evan for recommending it because I had such a fun time watching it. And this is the perfect B-movie horror movie. It's terrible. Like, the acting is so bad. The writing is terrible. The direction is not good. Everything is really bad in this movie. The blood effects are really bad. But with like B horror movies, that's not what you look for. You look for like those little like funny moments and stuff like that. Like when I was watching this, I thought of the Ginger Dead Man. And honestly, I think this might be better than the Ginger Dead Man. Before going into some really terrible and funny moments, I do want to just have my little like actual movie pros and cons because I do have at least one pro which was the character of Tala. She is probably the most competent actress slash actor in this movie and she probably has the most like she's probably the most believable actress when she's in this like crazy role and it's really weird saying that but like when you watch it you'll kind of understand how she's Probably, she probably is the most competent actress there. Honestly, that's really the only pro of this movie. I mean, you already heard all the cons. The dialogue is terrible. Just everything is off about this movie. So for an actual movie, I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10. But this is not how I'm going to grade this movie. I'm going to give it a new rating scale. So we're going to talk about some stuff for that rating scale. But it's going to be based off of how funny bad it is. So, like, when you think of funny bad movies, you know, you're going to think of The Ginger Dead Man, The Wicker Man, Truth or Dare, uh, movies like that. Uh, Fantasy Island was on there. But, yeah, so I'm going to kind of grade it along, like, movies like that compared to, like, a traditional, like, how I would grade them, if that makes sense. <laughs> Honestly, I just couldn't take this movie seriously in so many parts. Like... So the first scene of the movie, and this will contain some spoilers, like minor spoilers, not gonna do anything too bad, but it's a B-rated horror movie. These spoilers are not bad. They're not gonna ruin the experience for you. But, so the movie starts out with this uh, guy and girl in a car, and they're driving for some reason, I forget, I think like a party or something, I don't know. And <laughs> I like can't even explain this without like <laughs> laughing, because... I didn't really know what I was getting into at this part. Like, I mean, it was just, like, terrible camera work that you could, like, possibly imagine. Like, the camera work was so bad. It, like, had this weird, like, tint to it. Uh, it looked like it, it uh, the cameras didn't adjust to the light. And that's kind of how it gained, like, this certain, like, feel to it, which looked really cheap and really bad. Like, it was being filmed off of, like, a phone. But, you know, they're driving, they're saying stuff to each other. I didn't pay attention. I really didn't care. And then there's a Sasquatch watching them. And, oh my lord, this is one of the worst costumes I have ever seen. He starts, like, growling at them. And I came to find out that it was the director making these growling sounds and stuff. But whenever he would attack them, he'd be like, rawr, rawr. <laughs> and that's the only sound effect that he would have when he was attacking. Yeah, 
like the flash and starts shaking the car that they were in and I can't even explain with how like terrible the effects were and <laughs> but he shakes the car and it causes them to crash and he like you know the girl like tries to run away but she trips you know of course the girl's gonna trip and he like attacks the guy who's in the car and he rips his arm off. And the blood, like, I can't even, just like, think of how to describe this. It's just so awful. But it's the funniest thing you'll ever see in your life. Like, it's not like Truth or Dare, where you could tell they were trying their best to make, like, a competent horror movie. Like, this one, I can't even tell if they were trying to be, like, if this was like meant to be a joke at first or if this was just meant to be pure comedy and because they apparently the company that released it made this movie called fungicide or something like that about like killer fungus mushrooms killing people so they probably weren't taking themselves seriously with it but this is probably some of the worst like acting and effects I have ever seen like this might rival ginger dead man I mean honestly I think it's better than that but it might rival the room which is crazy to say hi can I help you yeah can I have a dozen red roses please oh hi Johnny I didn't know it was you here you go that's me how much is it it'll be $18 here you go. keep the change hi doggy you're my favorite customer thanks a lot bye 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 talking about some of the dialogue in this movie I I can't even put it into words with how awful it is it's how awful the actors and actresses were with saying some of the dialogue like there's one part where a dude's getting attacked by the Sasquatch and his friend is watching and he could see his friend being attacked by the Sasquatch and what he says to his friend as he's getting attacked is so funny. He just goes, Dave. <laughs> that, like, that exact tone, exact everything. Just a little, Dave. <laughs> as this dude's heart's getting ripped out. <laughs> like, I could just, like, I, I can't even imagine, like, what would happen. Like, this is, like, if you were in Friday the 13th. And, you know, Jason is, like, killing your friend right in front of you. And you're watching it. And you were just to go, like, Bill. <laughs> like, oh, my God. And that's not even the only time that something like that happens. Like, Tala, at one point, something happens to her. And the reporter sees this thing happening to her. And he just goes, Tala. <laughs> like, it felt like they didn't want to wake up, like, the neighbors where they were, even though it was, like, the middle of the day. It, like, I don't understand why they didn't, like, yell or anything like that. Why it was just, like, a little, like, weak, like, Dave or Tala. <laughs> but by far, one of my favorite characters in this movie, Timmy. I called him Little Timmy from Wichita, Kansas. He has... He, he just is so funny because he's playing outside as every kid does, kicking a volleyball around, you know, as every normal kid does. As his mom cleans one uh, picture frame that they have in their house, and it looks like she's looking out the window at some points, but it's just her washing a thing like this while she's not looking at her son. And, you know, Sasquatch starts, you know, strolling like he's about to jump him and the kid sees this and runs in the house and he's like mom there's a monster outside and she's like there's no such thing as monsters you know and he's like mom i saw a monster and she says the funniest line of this movie by far i don't know if i have this quoted correctly but she says something around the lines of 
monsters aren't real. They're like the boogeyman or your father. They just aren't real. <laughs> to this little kid who's about eight years old <laughs> playing, just kicking a ball around outside with a volleyball outside. And she tells him to go outside. And this shot lingers for 30 seconds with her telling her son to go play outside and him going, I saw it. And it just kept on going on. She's like, all right, go play outside. And he's like, I saw it. She's like, okay, go play outside. And he's like, I saw it. It felt like the mom had a, a different line that she was supposed to say, but she didn't remember it. So she kept on going with just play outside. And the kid actor didn't know what to do. So he just kept on repeating his line <laughs> because it goes on for way too long to the point where the mom just kind of pushes him outside. <laughs> But anyways, so you know the little kid's playing outside again, and you know Sasquatch strolls up on him like he's about to jump him and mug him, take his lunch money. And the mom, after wiping that same uh, little picture frame for as long as she does, notices it. So she figures the best way to protect her son from this is to get a broomstick. And just kind of poke at him with it. And the Sasquatch just... He said, get that out of my Stupid. He did the, are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? But anyways, he starts dragging the mom away. And she's like, Timmy, help! And little Timmy from Wichita, Kansas is just standing at the tree, just watching in horror as his mom's being pulled away by a Sasquatch. And then, he just disappears, the Sasquatch, just in the thin air. He just kind of, like, I can't even describe it. He just, you know, just poof, went away. Like, apparently he has teleportation powers, Sasquatch, in this movie. You know, he'll just be strutting and then just gone, nowhere. And then, like, at certain points, like, people will be standing, and then he just, like, appears behind them. And he's like, arr, arr, <laughs> as he does. Oh my god, this movie was so funny. I I cannot recommend this movie enough like for you guys to watch it. It was so funny. It was such a blast watching it. Like the only complaint that I could have with it with the funny bad scale is that it gets boring in a few scenes. Like some scenes will linger on too long or like the dialogue is just so stupid and so pointless that it wasn't like funny it was just kind of cringy at certain points but uh, that's really my only complaint i would have it with a funny bad scale so overall in terms of an actual movie it's a one out of ten but on a funny bad scale i'd give it a 9.5 with the 0.5 being taken off because of like the few boring parts of this movie so thank you everyone for watching and thank you evan for suggesting this movie if anyone else has some suggestions, you know, leave them down in the comments. I always look through the comments to see, you know, suggestions and stuff. But yeah, so let's flash forward to the next reveal.